Good morning. It is Wednesday, April 28th, 2021, and our devotional again today comes from the book Disciplines, produced by the Upper Room Ministries. Our theme for this week is Moments of Grace, and the author is Andrew Garland Breeden, Acquisitions Editor of the Upper Room Daily Devotional Guide, graduate of Lipscomb University and Vanderbilt University Divinity School, living in Charlotte, Tennessee. Our scripture for today comes from Psalm 22, verses 25 through 31. From you comes the theme of my praise in the great assembly. Before those who fear you, I will fulfill my vows. The poor will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord will praise him. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord and all the families of the nations will bow down before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the rich of the earth will feast and worship. All who go down to the dust will kneel before him, those who cannot keep themselves alive. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord. They will proclaim his righteousness, declaring to a people yet unborn, he has done it. And our author writes, Like most people, I'm on a smooth journey from point A to point B, but that's not always what I get. When I'm out hiking, one of my favorite activities, sometimes the path is unobstructed for the duration of my trek. Other times, I have to cross streams with knee-deep water, circumnavigate fallen trees, or figure out our way forward after coming to a washed out bridge. Reading Psalm 22 reminds me of my backcountry pastime. The psalmist, in a few lines of poetry, reminds us of the shape that our experiences along life's journey sometimes take. By the time we arrive at the last seven verses of Psalm 22, it's easy to forget what we went through to get to this point. Earlier, the psalmist writes, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from my cries of anguish? But what started as despair ends in praise. The psalmist concludes with a series of exclamations about the Lord's greatness. Though not always quite as linear, it seems that many times my life has followed a similar pattern despair to praise, trepidation to trust, skepticism to faith, angst to rest, questioning God's presence to exclaiming God's faithfulness. Things might get off to a rough start. They might look like they're about to fall apart halfway through, but look at where they end up. The poor will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord will praise him. This psalm is my reminder that there will be deep water to cross and obstacles to find a way around. And though any one journey might have its moments of anguish, it is likely to end in praise. Let us pray. God of hope, when I feel overwhelmed by my circumstances, remind me of your presence so that I may turn my lament into songs of praise. Amen. Thank you for joining me. I will see you here again next Wednesday morning, and we hope to see you in church on Sunday. Have a great week.